Okay, so assuming that you're going to use the Tiro uh, in this way to help you with citations and your referencing, I'm just going to give you a quick look how you might do that. There's a plugin there, automatically installed when you install the Tiro in the first place, it's installed into Word. Um, I'm going to add a citation in here. Classic view, this means I can have a little look. This be that. Okay. Okay, and this book also. Just use a couple of examples quickly for you. Okay, I'm going to pretend it was page 12 that I'm taking a, site to, uh, a quote from, so I could put it in there. Uh, and just a newspaper because I know you might easily be using those. I'm going to, I remember the person who wrote it, so I'm just going to put it in here. So that can be another shortcut. Okay, there we go. So that's a really good way of helping you keep track of what you've read as you're writing. It helps, I think it doesn't interrupt your, your flow when you're writing so much. Um, but the real magic bit comes here. So it's a Tiro, add bibliography. If you use it in this way, then this can happen and that's really useful. Really neat records, pretty much. Sometimes there might be a little awkwardness that you need to tidy up, okay? So here you've got London, New York. You only would have one mentioned, okay? Um, one one city, so I'm going to choose London because it's geographically closer to me. That that's just the the way of doing it. Okay, so if I go back into Zotero, if you just edit a, a record in here, so I'll, there it is. That's done. So now when I go back to my Word document, all I do is is click on Refresh inside Zotero, and it's fixed it in there. So it's just an easy way of keeping track of things. Really, 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 really useful tool. However, word of caution, you are responsible for your own referencing. Much and all, as the tier is great, it is not a magic wand, okay? A lot of the resources you're looking for, the source you're looking at, um, aren't going to import neatly the same way as the ones from the databases um, that are available on your Moodle page. So keep that in mind so that you can make sure that you can tidy things up like I just showed you there. There's plenty of resources there on Moodle to guide you on how to use the tier properly, but um, you can always ask at the library issue desk uh, for help. So if you want to ask a quick question, by all means, would you please ask us at the issue desk? It'll only take a second to answer it for you, save you loads of time. Don't struggle through this. So tier is not meant to be an extra thing to learn. It's there to help you. So as many short little questions that you want to ask over the time, please do. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Any questions, just come and ask me or anyone at the library, okay? So talk to you soon.